John, thanks for joining us after a, a quite obviously disappointing defeat here at, uh, at Forfar. What did you make of the 90 minutes? Uh, we didn't start as well as I have been starting the last few weeks. You know, we have been uh, very much on the front foot and generally, uh, you know, on top very, very early. Uh, obviously, there was a bit of breeze here, you know, and uh, we, I think we lost the toss and they went with, the, with, that, with that kind of wind uh, in their favour. Uh, so they, I thought they actually started a bit better than us and although the goal, it was a, a great strike, it hits the post and they've reacted better to it than us. Uh, we go a goal down but our reaction to that was very, very good. Uh, you know, I thought we worked our way back into the game and then Ross Matthews get the strike for the edge of the box which was, you know, I think we were worthy of that just around about that time and then Kevin Nisbet was through, he had a chance, didn't take it. Uh, Got another opportunity, they lose the ball in the middle of the park, we cash in on it, Kevin drives forward, he's got a lot of time to think about it, and it's a very good finish. And I felt we controlled the first half after after that, and uh, you know after the, that opening period, uh, I thought we controlled the half and were, again, as I say, worthy of the 2-1 lead. Uh, but we had to go out and do that again, but unfortunately we didn't start the second half well, didn't start it well enough, uh, even though we had two really, really good chances again. Kevin's done well to, you know, get in a, a really, really good situation, uh, and the goalkeeper makes a save. You know, he, he can't score every chance that comes his way, but it was a, it was a good chance. Uh, we give the ball away in midfield, they break on us, and Easton's hit a, a great strike into the top bin going across the goal. And sometimes, sometimes there's not an awful lot you can do about it. We could maybe not give a ball away in midfield. We try a pass in a tight area, and they in transition, which we we knew they were dangerous in that kind of situation. We uh, we highlighted that to the players that they were dangerous. Going forward, they were dangerous. Uh, and again, after that, uh, Nat Weatherman has got a great chance when we get in behind him on the right-hand side. We cut the ball across the face of the goal, and it's a great opportunity. Maybe it's fell on his weaker foot, but still, when you're only like six yards out, you know, you're know you looking to score from there. And that would probably put us three to ahead, and that might have been enough on the day. Uh, but, you know, for, for, the, uh, for me, they won too many first balls, too many second balls, and we never got close enough to them. And that was very much evident at the third goal and the winning goal. We've got plenty of bodies around the ball in the area, but we don't get ever close enough to stop them playing and to stop the strike, which was disappointing from our point of view. Now, we rallied towards the end, you know, but we didn't have the control of the second half as much as we did in the first half. And, uh, you know, that that's disappointing uh, that we didn't win enough first balls and second balls. And that's, uh, you know, that's just sheer desire, you know, and we should have that, we, we need to have that. You say it was, uh, we didn't start the second uh, half with the same tempo that you'd expect, is, you say is that a bit passion and desire, is that the, the, the key kind of learning today? I don't know, I don't know, but uh, regardless of uh, starting the second half and, and, and passion and desire, but certainly I would suggest that uh, like sort of midway through the, the half, you know, you would have maybe expected a bit more uh, for us to get closer, to, to win some first balls, to get closer to the second ball, to win some second balls and to be a bit more in their face, whereas we allowed them to play. And uh, you can't do that with any team because, uh, you know, some of the, you know, the likes of Easton and Hilson, John Baird, John Baird played very well today, you know, we allowed them to play. And if you allow them to play, they're good players and they, they, they can't hurt you. And that's exactly what happened. So, you know, we as a team, unfortunately, didn't they get, you know, they weren't really aggressive enough to, to win first balls, be in the right position to win the second ball. And uh, they, these were the two things that would have, you know, turned the game back in our favour. If we had won, you know, even 50% more, we would have managed to turn that game back in our favour. Uh, so that's, you know, I think there lies, you know, maybe that we should be a bit more aggressive in, in, the, in, those, in those moments. The, the injury to Regan Henry uh, obviously had to come off. It seems at that point that, that Forfar kind of took advantage of uh, maybe that uh, a wee bit less dig that we had in the middle of the park. Do you think that was a key turning point? You, you could look at that. I think that if, when Regan ever goes off the pitch, you're going to, uh, it's going to affect it because he's so good on the ball. You know, he's very, very good on the ball. So and he's, he's got a natural uh, gift, you know, to get to where the ball you know, is going to land. You know, he gets he gets to these situations and he he finds good space to get on the ball for us, and he's got quality on the ball. So you're always going to miss that when your key players uh, in his situation there had to come off injured. You know, 
but you know that, that just means that other people have got to stand up and be counted. You know, and you know that that didn't quite happen today. You're still learning about the, the the squad, John. You've only been here a relatively short space of time. Yeah, of course. There's a lot of work to get done here. Yeah, and I think you know, in our first defeat of the season, it's not not a very nice feeling. Uh, so the boys recognise, you know, it's the first time you've got to have a one or two wee choice words with them because, you know, uh, uh, have an expectation level that we can do better than that, and we have shown that. So we all need to get together and be in training on Monday, get working very very hard, and get a response for the game next week. It's absolutely freezing, John, so we'll let you go to that. Thanks for your time. Okay, thank you.